you know, like the most commonly Googled question when it comes to solar is like, what's the best solar panels? And I always say like, yeah, we want good panels. It's definitely important, right? You don't want the cheap stuff, but it's really not the most important part of no, the system. No, it really system. isn't. I mean, yeah. I, I think of the solar system as three main components and then a battery as the fourth one if you have a battery. And that yep. is basically you have the panels, then you have the inverters, which convert the DC to AC, the DC electricity to AC electricity. Correct. Then you have the, you know, the structure underneath holding it all up, the racking, the standoffs, um, you know, that structure, which if it's going to leak, you're probably not going to matter. It's not going to matter what panels you have on your roof. You're going to be <laughs> exactly. mad about the water coming through your ceiling. For so sure. I would yep. say like, you know, you got to have quality, you know, roof penetrations. Uh, absolutely. You know, you gotta be, they got to yeah. be sealed up. Um, and then, you know, if you have a battery, you have the battery. And there's actually a fifth component too, which is if you have, you know, the critical loads panel and transfer switch right. for, for right. full off grid, you know, capability. Because just something that I've seen recently is, you know, in order to kind of, I think, cut down on costs, they're like selling, people are quoting out these batteries, but they're not doing the critical loads panel or transfer switch, which means that if the grid goes out, your battery's not gonna work. You know, it's not gonna be like you thought in your head, because this right. is like probably a five to $6,000 difference a lot of the time to it add is. in that extra, mm -hmm. you know, that extra infrastructure. And so with that being said, you know, um, Let's kind of start on inverters a little bit. Um, what, what, what do you think are the best inverters on the market? Well, I've, I've got a lot of experience with, with both styles. So mm -hmm. there's a string inverter, which of course is typically explained like a Christmas tree light sort of idea where you know, you're, they're all running you know, in, in, in one line. Um, the, the negative to that is that it's a main inverter that's on the side of the home typically. And if that goes out, Typically, the whole thing is going to be done in and out. Yeah. Uh, not to say that maybe someone like Solar Edge or uh, well, Solar Edge is probably the main manufacturer for uh, string inverters. So I've I've had some situations uh, a couple of years back when when the company did have those, and um, Solar Edge did a pretty good job in regards to being timely. But at the end of the day, it was still a huge frustration, and that 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 customer loses that power while that while that uh, inverter is down. So I'm not a fan of it. I'm really not. But also more specific to Texas, is the placement of that inverter. There are times that I will drive, you know, into a neighborhood. I'm going to an appointment, and I see a south facing wall <laughs> and the inverter is on the south side of Just the house slammed by the sun getting hammered yeah. by heat all day and for those of you who don't know the way electricity the components are working is the hotter it becomes the the lesser efficient yep. that it becomes so yep. therefore if you're if you got this sucker sitting in the heat all day whatever those numbers that that guy told you are not going to happen because that thing is a hundred and something degrees right on the wall. Yep. Whereas a micro inverter system, it's underneath each individual panel. So what's what's happening in that situation is the, the direct sunlight is not getting to the panel for one, mm -hmm. but if one does go out and these are all components that are built by human beings. So to, to think that they're never gonna be a problem, it would be foolish. We all know that things do break. But if you have a 30 panel system and an inverter goes out, well, you still have 29 that are working while that 30th one is being corrected. How many, so. uh, like, I know you've been doing solar for several years mm -hmm. now. So how many years have you been selling the, uh, you know, the IQ microinverter, you know, by Enphase, I, whether that be the IQ six, seven, or now the eight? Yeah, we're, we know when I started, we were, we were on the six yep. and then the seven. Now we're on the eight plus, which is great. Um, I personally think that 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 end phase is is by far my best choice. I think that that's hands down the best option. If you look at the manufacturer's website, for example, for Solar Edge, you'll even see that they'll have like a, a 10 year or 12 year warranty on that inverter. But a lot of these solar companies are telling you, we're gonna give you a 25 year warranty. Well, how, how is that happening? It's not. It, it, it they, might, have, they, ha they have to pay Solar Edge like, However, it's like a thousand or two. it's like an extended warranty. You're basically sort of thing. all you're doing right. is you're basically pre buying another one, another inverter. That's exactly all they're doing <laughs> is passing on an additional charge to you. It's like they're they're it's, they're already factoring in your your failure. It's ridiculous. But on panels, let's touch on that real quick because I'm seeing some crazy stuff going on in the market right now. <laughs> Just because someone 
has more panels than you does not make that system better. Right? No. So think about this. It's, this, is, this is what we're seeing a lot. So if I have a 400 watt or a 420 watt panel, and I have a competitor that comes in with a 350 watt panel, mm -hmm. that sales guy tells you know, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, hey guys, Larson is only offering you 30 panels. I'm offering you 40. Mm -hmm. But all they've done is they're using a lower wattage panel mm -hmm. and making a quantity amount of higher than what the competitor would be, mm -hmm. hoping that that person is not going to pay attention. What? I'm getting 40 panels with you and only 30 panels with you? When I first got into the industry, like I remember going to my first ever sales uh, appointment, mm -hmm. right? I didn't even know what a six kilowatt system was. I didn't, I didn't know what a seven or an, I didn't know what a kilowatt even was. Like they just threw me yeah. out there and was like, go after like one day of training. And fortunately this guy, he actually moved down from Northern California and he had already purchased, this was his second solar system. So this guy had more experience than me at this point in time. <laughs> right, educating and, you. and he, yeah. he looked at the proposal that had been pre-worked out for me. And then he was like, oh yeah, okay. This, this is a little bit bigger than I had at my old house and it's actually like the same price. So I'm even getting a little bit of a better deal and done. And he was only down here for like three days, basically doing everything for his new house that wow. he needed to get done going back. Yeah. So, so I got lucky, but the point is that it, yeah, like 30, like how does a 30 panel system equate to a 10 kilowatt system or an eight kilowatt system or a 15? Cause you could have, exactly you could have correct, the same right? 30 panels and have a completely different kilowatt size system. 